Hallelujah. Ladies and gentlemen, dear people of God, once more I welcome every one of you to today's uh, program of the House of Prayer Zoom Fellowship. I thank God for every one of you that has made it possible to connect, has made it to connect to the program today. I encourage you to, even as we proceed with the program, to invite others to join you as we proceed with the program. Again, we want to bless God because today's program is the last program for the year 2021, the last Sunday of the month of December and the last Sunday of the year 2021. And so by God's special grace and the leading of the Spirit, I have been led to caption today's program under the caption, End of Year Blessing. Somebody say Amen. End of year blessing. Say better, amen. The Lord, by his spirit, has anointed me and released words that he wants me to speak as a blessing over your life. And so I pray that every word of God's blessing that will be coming your way this moment, you shall connect your faith and receive them so that you will see the manifestation in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. So I will show us some few scriptures relating to how God blesses and how he instructed his messengers in particular or his servants to bless. And I will be doing just that. And I pray that by the Spirit of God, you will connect your heart to receive the fullness of the package of God set for you today. Can somebody say amen? Dear people of God, ladies and gentlemen, under this caption, end of year blessing, I will proceed by a way of introduction to say every year God releases from the throne of God in heaven blessings to the world of man. So according to God's creative order and divine plan related to man, he releases blessing that flows from his throne towards our world every year. So the and in every year, because there are 12 months in each year, then the blessings have been structured to manifest to us in each month. And so there are blessings for each month. And the blessings are unique. So there is a blessing God has for humanity in the month of January. There is a blessing God has for humanity in the month of February and so on in the month of March, April, May, until December. It's unfortunate that many of us, because we are not aware of this truth, we do not even partake of the blessings that are released to man. Some people, maybe the whole year, all the 12 months, they missed all of it. Some people, paraventure by accident, because of lack of knowledge without revelation, they may just trample on or grab some few. But today, being the last month of the year 2021, and by the anointing of the Holy Spirit that is upon me, sent by Christ to you now, I will begin to declare the words of God that will come to you as a blessing to activate and release to you. Every blessing of God for this year 2021 from the month of January to the month of December. Therefore, whatever blessing you have not received from the past month, you shall begin to receive them today as your areas blessings. Somebody say amen. Say a better amen. With this, let us pray before we proceed. Lift up your right hand as you pray with me in agreement. Father, I thank you for your children that you have brought forth to be blessed by you through me. And I thank you for your anointing upon me to bless your people. 
And I thank you for your choice words that you have given to me from your reservoir of knowledge and wisdom to be released as a blessing over your people. I thank you for those you have touched to connect this far. And I bless your name, O oh God, for those that you are still reminding to do so and even those your angels are assisting to do so now. Father, I submit to you because you know you are the anointing. You are the power. You are the blessing. Holy Spirit, move again. For you are the anointing. You are the power. You are the blessing. Use me, Lord. I surrender my vocal cord and system to you. Use me and bless your people. Lord, all glory and honor for this program of what you are going to do and what you have done in the past program, we render them to you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I acknowledge my weaknesses and shortcomings as a human being, but I acknowledge the finished work of Christ and by mercy and grace that you have, oh God, you consider to use me to bless us. So do it, Lord, even according to your will and your promise. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Let the life of your people by this blessing of today be touched, be transformed. Let those who are not saved under this program, even those that will follow it later, let them, O oh God, be convicted to receive the free gift of salvation. Let anyone seek, O oh God, receive their total healing and wholeness today. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Let anyone under any form of captivity, oppress, or bondage be set free completely from the powers and the bondage that is beholding them or keeping them bound. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, I thank you, Father, for your faithfulness to honor your word. Therefore, thank you for the testimonies that you already have released in fulfillment and confirmation of your word. You said, Lord Jesus, to us, according to Mark chapter 16, verse 20, that even as you spoke and your apostles went and preached the word, you were with them, confirming the word with signs. I thank you, Lord Jesus, for being with me now and being with us to confirm your words with signs. Therefore, every word that you have put in my mouth as I speak, I thank you for the testimony that will follow. Lord, because of your faithfulness, I know that you will confirm every word as you have always done. For you said, wherever two or three are gathered together in your name, you will be there in the midst of them. We have gathered here in no other name but your name, Father. In your name, Jesus the Christ. Lord Jesus, we welcome you in our midst. And Holy Spirit, we acknowledge you in our midst as the governor. Govern all that is going on now. And let the people receive your blessing today. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, you are blessed even as the Lord has begun blessing you now. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Praise the living God. Ladies and gentlemen, we thank God for the blessings he has ordained for his people for the year 2021. And today under the caption end of year blessing, I will begin to speak to release the power of God from his world to activate the release of every blessing that you as a child of God are supposed to receive. Or as a human being in summary, from the month of January to December. So I believe and I pray with your cooperation that you are not going to cross this year 2021 to 2022 leaving behind any of your blessings that was ordained for you in 2021. That means I'm saying, and if you believe that, receive it with a better amen. amen. That the year 2021 is not permitted to finish. That means December 31st of this year, 2021, is not permitted to come to an end with any of your blessing not being released to you. Therefore, by your agreement and the anointing of the Holy Spirit, I decree over you that every blessing that God has programmed for humanity in the year 2021, from January, from February, from March, from April, from May, from June, from July, from 
August, from September, October, November, and December, that which you have not yet received, I activate the angels to move on your behalf right now. And I decree, let the angels be empowered to go and gather for you all your blessing. Now receive your angels of blessing in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I release to you your angels of blessing in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I ask the Father to release all the angels that you need to bring your blessing. Father, I thank you for the angels that are at our disposal right now. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. So, I want to read for you, or with you, the first very important scripture for us. About God's plan and agenda on how to bless. When we say God blesses people, how does God bless? We need to understand how God blesses to now know how his ministers or his messengers or his servants are empowered to bless others. And I believe with your understanding of how God blesses, and how his servants or ministers are supposed to bless, it will change the way you relate with God's ministers that are sent you away from today. Hallelujah. Let us, for example, hear what the Lord said. In Genesis chapter 1, verse 22, God began to bless. And the Bible gave us a picture of how the blessings comes. So I would like to read Genesis chapter 1 verse 22 and verse 28. There are two important expressions there where God blesses his people or spoke, or release blessing. So let me read from the old King James, and then you can follow that with any version of the Bible you have. Hallelujah. In Genesis chapter 1, verse 22, I read, And God blessed them. And God blessed them. Question, how did he bless? The statement follows. And God blessed them. How? saying be fruitful and multiply and fill the waters in the sea and let fowls multiply in the earth. Hallelujah. Ladies and gentlemen, this is God's original pattern and remain the same forever which follows the creative order of, of his uh, mystery to create. And God blessed them. How? By saying. So blessings are actually words to be spoken. So when God bless, it is that that blessing means he spoke words, positive words or words of favor, words of blessing, words of goodness. Now let's see that that is not a coincidence because it is the pattern that God programmed in the creative mystery of his creation, especially how he created the earth. In verse 28, which now applies to man, it reads the same order. And God blessed them. How? And God said, when they say he blessed, it is word spoken. And God blessed them, and God said unto them, Be fruitful, and multiply, and replenish the earth, and subdue it, and have dominion over the fish of the sea, 
and over the fowl of the air, and over every living thing that moved upon the earth. I thought somebody should say amen. amen. The first one I read was referring to God's order of blessing, which was not directly applied to man. But this verse 28 is the creative order of God's blessing the man he created, which apply to every one of you. And so when God blesses, is that he blesses by speaking words. So what is the blessing, for example, here, in God's original plan for man, when man was created, before you were even conceived in your mother's womb, God already blessed you when he created you. Because remember, God has to create the man already before the man could be now conceived in a woman's womb and then pass through a biological process to be born. That is why God was speaking, according to Jeremiah chapter 1, verse 5, that before you were conceived in your mother's womb, I knew you. Who is that one he knew? Is the one he created. So you have been created in the same order that God created all men. In the account of Acts of the Apostle, he said, From one man, God created all men of all the nations of the earth. So the same word that God spoke in creating that one man called Adam. Remember, it's not Adam. The original first is Adam. The Adam is different from Adam. The Adam is the man one originally created, which the Adam means all human race. That one man, Adam, God created, includes every human being that will ever exist. That is why before now, the biological chemistry would take place for a child to be conceived in his mother's womb. It is only another process of getting that man who is already created in the time God created the one man, Adam. That is why when he wanted now to get the existence of the female called Eve, he did not need to create another person again. He just removed the Eve from inside the one. It is from that time when Eve was removed from Adam that Adam became Adam. Because at that moment now, he has removed the one man, the one person inside the Adam that makes the package of humanity to now exist so that now the Adam as a male and the Eve as a female can now begin to continue to bring forth through the biological process the other rest of the humans that were already created all in the Adam. Somebody understand that to say amen. So that means this is God's original plan for you. No matter what the devil tells you, no matter what you are facing now, no matter what will ever come against you, when God created you, when God created every human being, including you and all of us, these words are the words God spoke as his blessing that's supposed to be our portion as we exist and we live to fulfill God's purpose. Hallelujah. So again, in that Genesis chapter 1 verse 28, how did God bless? And God blessed them. Say, and God bless me. Say it louder, and God bless me. And God bless them. And what did he do? And God said, this is the blessing. He spoke these words. From that time when he spoke them, then they became a blessing. And they now means the words he spoke are empowered to become what they are expressed as he has spoken. That is now what the word blessing means. Hallelujah. And God bless them. And God bless you. And God bless me. And God bless every human being which later on now came into existence through biological process of conception. And what is the blessing? God released the word and God said unto them, what did he say? Which are the blessings? Be fruitful. You were created to be fruitful. You were made to be fruitful. Be fruitful. Be, multi be fruitful and multiply. 
and replenish the earth and subdue it and have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowl of the air and over every living thing that moveth upon the earth. Somebody say better amen. amen. So now, I am not going to begin to preach about the mystery of the details of the what it means to be fruitful, multiply. The summary of all that is that they are positive words of God's favor and grace released to us. We are created, made by God for dominion. We are created and made by God to be successful, to be fruitful, and increase in multiplication and to subdue, to be in control. In whatever field you are, in whatever aspect of life, whether in your home, in your marriage, in your family, in your career, in your academics or education, God said he blessed us. He blessed you and he spoke those words. Be fruitful and multiply. Hallelujah. So today, that is a summary of all the different manifestations of this blessing that's supposed to be happening to our life day to day. And so God now programmed this blessing to follow a sequence that different phases in life will begin to get them. And how the blessings are activated to manifest will follow the same order. And in every year, he programmed the year to have 12 months. And again, as I explained last time, the 12 months of a year is not the making of human science or geology or geography or biology. It's the making of God's creative order because the 12 months is as a program relating to the rotation and the, the involvement of the earth and the solar system or the galactic system we are involving. So who is the master controller how the earth rotates? Who is the master controller how the earth revolves? And now it is based on this rotation and how the air revolves that brings a change of day and night and bring the change of season, which includes the months. So God, that is why he said in that same Genesis chapter 1, he created two great lights, two, two lights, the greater one to rule over the day, the lesser one to rule over the night, which means it is the condition of his creative power of the sun and the moon that determines us to have day and night. And then the same is creative order of the earth to rotate and evolve. That makes us to have the changes that brings changes in months and seasons. And so that means with that order, God programmed the blessings for man. That each month has a unique blessing that is released from the throne of God to humanity. But because of the devil and the work of the devil, but primarily because of the ignorance of God's people, in Hosea 4, 6, it says, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. In John 8, 32, the Lord Jesus says, you shall know the truth and the truth make you free. The application of the knowledge. So the people are destroyed for the lack of the knowledge of the truth, which they are not applying. That's why I told people that my greatest prayer now for myself is to come to that day where I will never call the name of devil, demon, to any complaint of he has done anything. Because it's not necessary. Why? Our problem all in life is the lack of the application of the knowledge of the truth which has been established by the Lord Jesus Christ, the King of the Kingdom. Nothing can the devil or demon, which is a wizard, do once we obey the instruction Christ has established for us. The first problem is that most of us who call ourselves Christian don't even know and follow the things Christ has taught. Because most of the preachers do not even teach what Christ asks us to go and preach. But by this blessing, I pray that every blessing of God for you, which has been dormant, I activate them to begin to flow to you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. So we now see that when God blessed man in the creative and the making order, this has to follow the pattern of our life. But because of the work of the devil and our ignorance after the fall of man, we do not sometimes see our life to live the way God has spoken this blessing for us. Again, in that verse 28, where he said, Be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth and subdue it. 
So, what is the evidence of now that, okay, they say this is God that has blessed. So, what does that mean? He spoke words of the blessing, of his favor, of his grace. Now, this is what makes it a blessing. Once the word has been spoken, then that word has been empowered to become what he say it is being said to be. Hallelujah. So when we look at the, the meaning of the word bless, from the Hebrew word that means barak, among its meaning, it means is to be empowered to speak words of God's favor or blessing. To Now once you speak the words, then that spoken word has, has been, has now re is releasing a force empowering that which has been pronounced to happen. This is why everybody needs some man, especially so-called either a man of God or a father in the Lord or whosoever to speak words in line with God's word for your life. Because when an anointed man speaks, that word he spoke is empowered, that's a blessing, is empowered to become what he says or what has been spoken if only you receive it and i pray that even what you have received so far will begin to happen in your life in the name of our lord jesus christ Amen. the same thing is the opposite when a word is spoken to you is empowered to become what it is that is why that one will not be called a blessing it will be called the opposite of blessing is what curse is the reason why in deuteronomy chapter 30 verse 19 God said, I put, I call heaven and earth to be witness, and I put before you two things to choose. What were the two things? One is blessing, the other one is curses. Choose between blessing and curses. How? It is words pronounced. And so, let us see that this is true. Now that God has blessed and we have it established, so when men, especially men anointed, especially men appointed over your life as God sent one for you, ministers, when they speak the word of God over you, <coughs> excuse me, they activate the manifestation of what God said. So even though God said it once, it cannot happen because as it is in print on paper, it is not a sound. But when you begin to have them being spoken now, they activate the power for them to happen. That is the blessing. So again, I said from the Hebrew word barak, blessing means any word spoken or release in line with God's favor or grace. And the opposite is a curse. That's why when they are cursing people, they speak negative words. Praise the living God. So let us now, we have now understood how God blesses. Let us see how he instructed his servants or ministers to bless. Then you can now know how everything I'm saying and speaking over you and everything any true servant or minister of God sent to your life is saying is a blessing if it is in line with God's will or positive to your life. In Numbers chapter 6, verse 23, I'm reading from New English Translation. God speaking, giving instruction how his ministers or servants or messengers should bless. Numbers chapter 6 verse 23. Tell Aaron and his sons, which in the order at that time they were the ministers, the priests. But today by the Holy Spirit, Christ has sent some of us and almost every New Testament believer is also a priest. So you, anybody who has the spirit of God can speak and be a blessing to anyone, including your own self. Hallelujah. He says, tell Aaron and his sons, this is the way you are to bless the Israelites. This is the way you are to bless. How? This is the way you are to bless. So now he has to tell us, show us the way. What is the way? Continue. Say to them, how? This is the way they bless. This is the way you should bless. This is the way God's ministers are to bless. How are they supposed to bless? To say, to speak, 
which is in line with the original meaning of the word blessed from the Hebrew word barak, and even the Greek word. So it all goes to say, from God himself, how he blesses is by speaking words which are positive on the situation. And the positive situation is the blessing. And the blessing is, re is, ble is manifested or is released by the words. And then he now tells us who are his servants and ministers, priests. This is the way. Now God was giving that order for Aaron's children who were going to be the model of the priests in the Old Testament order. Today, every child of God is that priest. That is why you have to be careful with the words you speak, even to, especially to your children. Now, as we understood that blessing is the direct opposite of curses, it means the same way in the principle of creation to bless, which is by speaking words, which are in line to God's grace and favor, positive, is the same way on how you curse when you speak words that are negative. That is now why when God says we have to choose between life and death, why will he be asking us to choose between life and death, between blessing and curses? Did God not know that everybody needs life? Did God not know that anybody needs blessing? Why will he ask us to choose? Because the order of choice is by your mouth. To get the blessing, if you are choosing blessing, you must be careful to speak only words that are positive in line to God's will. If you are speaking words that are negative, contrary to God's will, you are choosing curses. So many of us choose curses without knowing. So, but now, under the instruction of God for an anointed servant sent forth like the Lord by the Holy Spirit has anointed me and sent me forth to speak his blessing over you as the end of your blessing, which is primarily for me to speak words to activate the release of every blessing that has been released from the throne to man for the year 2021 in particular and probably the past years in general which you have not yet received as I speak the words declaring them over you that is the blessing once you believe and receive them it must happen in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ so now you have seen how God blesses. You have seen how he has instructed his servants to bless. Now that is why our Lord Jesus Christ also instructed us now because everybody in the New Testament is now a priest. In Matthew chapter 5 verse 44, our Lord Jesus Christ instructs us. Now I read Matthew chapter 5 verse 44. I'm reading from King James. He says, Christ speaking, but I say unto you, Love your enemies. Now that part is not my interest. But this is the way to love the enemy. He said bless them. He gave us instruction to bless. Bless them that curse you. Now you have understood how they bless. Which means Christ was saying for a way to love enemies or anyone that is in this life you bless. And how? By speaking words that are positive. And he said, you, in this picture, he was talking about advice for us to love enemies, that they will curse you. So, which is to say that the commandment of our Lord Jesus Christ to us, if people speak negative words to you, they are curses. You have to speak positive words to counter the negative words. But don't speak back against those people who are cursing you curse words or negative words. Because if you do that also, you are not loving the enemy and you not receive the blessing Christ has programmed in this order. Which is why it means that it is still following the pattern that for us to bless is to speak words that are positive. But primary God's blessing means speaking words that are in line with God's grace or favor towards, his pe towards the people. And that is just what the anointing upon me today is to speak words so that every God's blessing release for you in the year in the year 2021 that you have not received, as I speak, the words which are the blessing will be empowered and cause angels to cause that to come to pass in your life. It will come to pass in our life, it will come to pass in our families. You believe that shout a believing amen. amen. Say more believing amen. amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, ladies and gentlemen, 
Let me read another scripture before I start speaking this word of blessing over you as we round up the program for this day and this last program for the year 2021. It's important for you to know that it was not a coincidence that God anointed me to activate the release of his blessing over your life in this last Sunday before you cross to 2022. And even as I'm speaking now, the blessing of God for you to be healthy because Jesus Christ already took 39 stripes. And that is why 1 Peter chapter 2 verse 24 says, By his stripes you were healed, not you are. You were, if you are a believer of Christ. For the Old Testament in Isaiah 53 verse 4 and verse 5 in particular, it says by his stripes you are. Even in the Old Testament it says you are healed. It means in the New Testament it's not a matter you shall be. Not even you are. You were already healed. That's why 1 Peter chapter 2 is very clear about that. The problem now is for you to have the blessing of healing or blessing of health being received. And I speak over you. Receive the blessing of God for your health and walk in divine health in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. By this blessing, I rebuke every spirit of infirmity tormenting your health in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. By this blessing, I activate the archangels of healing to minister healing for your health to be restored to divine health in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. That is a practical of how we bless. As I've spoken, if you receive it, angels move. That's why the blessing means empowered to prosper, to produce what the word means. Once you receive it, angels are empowered because of that sound of that word. But if you doubt it, it's unfortunate. So now, before I begin to pronounce to you the blessings for the year 2021, so that you can begin to receive anyone that you are still lacking to receive. And even if you have received, you can still receive double. God says, for your shame, I shall give you double. So when the devil has tampered you to rob you of your past blessing, you can still receive double blessing. Somebody say amen. So this end of year blessing that is going to be released and pronounced over you will set you to enter 2022 flowing the blessings of God by his grace and his mercies and his favor. Somebody will believe that. Say, believe in amen. Say more louder, amen. Praise the living God. So now, what did God say about the blessing for the year, which are programmed in 12 months? In Revelation chapter 22, coincidentally the last chapter of the, of the Bible, or divine coincidence, in Revelation chapter 22, I read from verse 1 to 2, but precisely verse 2, from verse 1. And he showed me, that is the revelation to John from the Lord Jesus Christ. And he showed me a pure river of water of life. Water of life. What does the water of life represent? It represents the life of God and all the blessings, the abundant life Christ came with. The water of life clear as crystal proceeding out of where out of the throne of god and of the lamb so from the throne of god where god the father is seated with the lamb the son that throne is flowing regularly to the earth the water of life which means spiritual virtue of god's blessing and now verse 2 tell us how it is structured to reach us and how we are supposed to collect them. Verse 2 says, In the midst of the streets of it, that flowing stream of water of life, in the midst of the streets of it and on either side of the river, was there the tree of life 
Tree of life, what does it symbolize? The life of God with the blessings of God. Then remember, that is the tree of life that Adam did not eat in the garden. Yet he went and ate the wrong one. And man is in trouble. So the cure for man is to eat the tree of life, which is the blessings of God. And that is why when God came to follow the order of the fall of man and for man to go on that way, he now had to send the man out of the garden so that he should not now go and eat the tree of life. Which means if the man has eaten the tree of life, even after that and then ate the wrong tree, the man will have lived forever because of the life of God and lived the abundant life and the blessing of God forever. There will never have been any problem of man. And this now, in the end of God correcting the issue, he programmed this, which we find in the book of Revelation, as the tree of life. And what is that tree of life structure? Which bear 12 manner of fruits and yielded her fruit every month and the leaves of the tree were for the healing of the nation somebody shout hallelujah i don't want to say anything about the leaves for now but it is understood that the tree of life which is from the throne of god is the blessing of god is the life of god every blessing we need is in god's life and all that we need to do is to seek the kingdom and do righteously. Then that life flows. When that life is flowing, everything we have as blessing from God is in the life, the tree of life. And he said it's structured in 12 manner of fruits. And each fruit is for each month. Is that not showing you that the 12 fruit represent God's 12 virtue of blessing to humanity? that are structured to come to the earth each month. The tree of life is not physical tree. That is also why he said the leaves are for the healing of the nation, which is not physical leaves. But for the individual or the nation, it is from the throne of God every year, 12 fruits representing the 12 manner of God's order of blessing to humanity. And so the blessings of God for us in the month of December of January is different with the blessing for February, for March, and so on. Now, if you don't know this and connect to draw the blessings, you may come and collect all the blessings of December, whereas you have missed all the blessings from January to November. You will not be that loser you must re receive all that God has ordained for you in this year 2021. Somebody say better amen. And that means in the same way you can play, pray the prayer of restoration to collect back all that you have lost in the past. Yes. God followed this order. Ladies and gentlemen, listen to me before I start praying over you. If God has structured 12 manner of blessings, and one is for each month. God is the first to obey his word. If you did not receive the one for December, I mean, sorry, if you did not receive the one for January, and you come to February, you receive the one for February, the things, that, that blessing, that virtue, which is released for January, supposed to do in your life, will not be done even though you have received the one in February. That is to tell us the importance to be aware of this revelation and be effective to relate with God yearly and on monthly basis draw every virtue. But thank God for the window of mercy. God says even because of his great mercy, he will consider. If not, when you have lost it, the month has passed, it has passed. If you have lost it, the year has passed, it has passed. But because of the mercies of God, and God said, even because of my great mercy, because of their ways, I may be rebuke them, chastise them. But now, because of my mercies and even my great mercy, I consider them. And so, because of the mercies of God, we can now receive our Arias blessing. Because he said in Joel chapter 2, verse 25, and re-echoed by Peter, in Acts chapter 2, after the Holy Ghost came, that I will restore to you the years that the canker worm, the caterpillar, the locust, and the palmer worm has eaten. Those creatures do not eat years. How can he say restoring years that canker worm, caterpillar, locust eat? 
it is to tell you that he was not referring to anim creatures, insects. He was talking about what that is what the devil's target. Every blessings of man is for the devil to rob you of your time, your years, wasting it to do what is not what God programmed. Because you cannot get the blessing God has programmed when you do not do what he has programmed. Every blessing of God goes with the instructions and the condition of what we must do. So the devil, his network of demons, which are the locals described there, they manipulate people to waste time. People will waste time for hours watching naked movies, but they cannot read the Bible one chapter for the next month. People will waste time for hours talking trash, but they cannot pray and ask God to show direction of what they should do. That is the yes. And that is how the blessings goes. But thank God for his mercy. Somebody say thank God for his mercy. So as one anointed and sent over you today, as one anointed and sent over everyone that will be listening or watching this message, I speak the angels of God for recovery to be released on your behalf in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. You have already learned, I've taught you how God told us to bless. So if you are doubting Thomas to doubt the proclamation that are coming your way now, it's unfortunate. But I have been anointed like the Lord Jesus who has sent me. Said the spirit of the Lord is upon me for he has anointed me to preach the gospel, to proclaim his good news. His good news is that he created you to be fruitful, to multiply and to replenish and subdue, to be in control, to be in dominion. Therefore, I speak over you. Everything that has been frightening you, has been threatening you from today, receive the empowerment for them to begin to run away from you. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, I decree over you by the anointing of the Holy Ghost upon my head that this year, 2021, December 31st, will not come if all your blessings have not been released to you. Receive the empowerment in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I release upon you your virtue of blessings for your divine health. Receive it in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I release upon you your virtue of blessing from the river of the, from the throne, that tree of life, the blessing of joy unspeakable. Receive it in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I release upon you God's blessing for fruitfulness, for you with struggling and suffering of barrenness. Receive your blessing in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I release upon you the blessings of peace for you who is tormented in your heart for any reason. Receive your blessing in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Right now the angels are moving on your behalf as you are receiving this pronouncement. By the authority in the name of Jesus, by the anointing of the Holy Ghost, I demand every blessing of God program for humanity in the month of January of this year that you are lacking be released to you now. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, every blessing that God has ordained for humanity in the month of February of this year, that you are lacking. Receive it now in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Receive that virtue now in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Every blessing of God ordained for this year in the month of March that you are lacking. Receive your portion now in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I release the angels of blessing to release your package now in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you. Every blessing of God that was released to humanity in this year 2020 in the month of April that you are lacking by the mercies of God by the blood of Jesus I activate the release of your portion I release your portion to you now I release your portion to you now I release your portion to you now every blessing of God for the month of April receive your complete package in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ every blessing of God for the month of May that you are lacking, I activate the angels of that blessing to begin to locate you with their packages now. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, every blessing of God 
orchestrated a release to man from the throne for the month of June in this year 2021 that you are lacking. Receive your portion in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Receive your portion in the month of, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Every blessing of morn in the first half of the year which you have not received. There is also a seasonal blessing which comes in the first half of the year from January to June. Every blessing in the first half of the year you are lacking. I activate the angels to move on your behalf and let your blessing begin to locate you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Every blessing of God ordained for the month of July 2021 for God to the people in this life that you are lacking. I release that blessing to you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Every blessing God released to humanity in this year 2021, in the month of August, that you are lacking, I release that blessing to you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Every blessing of the month of September 2021 that you are lacking, I release to you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Every blessing of God in the month of October that you are lacking of this year 2021, I call for the angels that carry that blessing to begin to locate you with your blessing in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Makabaro de Sikla Bagoteba, I begin to give God thanks. Lebro Katariana, November and December blessings are going to be a greater package because God crowns the year with his goodness and his greater blessings according to Psalm 65 verse 11. So this remaining two months of February, November and December that I'm going to pronounce, I want you to connect your spirit. Begin to give God thanks for what you have received so far. Begin to give God thanks. These blessings carry all the spiritual virtues of God. Lift your voice and praise God. Lift your voice and give God thanks for what you have received so far. None of your blessing in the past month is released. Still hold that back. Every month that has been proclaimed over you, as you have believed and received, the blessings are released. The blessing we speak the words and the word we spoke according to God's will empower the angels to move on your behalf. The angels are the one giving as our servants as our ministers. They are the one who move to do the work are under the leading of Jehovah Sabbath, the Lord, the captain of the host of heaven, the Lord Jesus under the leadership of the Holy Spirit. Father we thank you. Right now lift up your two hands and begin to receive. Father, I thank you. Your word says you crown the year with your goodness and every part draw fatness. Plenty and mighty blessings. You release your plan to man for us to be fruitful and multiply and to increase and to replenish the earth in increase and to subdue it and to be in dominion. In the, in the month of November 2021, my father, every blessing that was released from your throne flowing down to the earth, structured in the tree with the 12 fruit, the fruit of November, that which your children, O oh God, did not see or receive, that which anyone is lacking, even those who receive anything in the month, for your blessing and promise to give double, my father. I decree and I release upon your children every blessing for the month of November. Let it, O oh God, be released upon your children now. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, I release upon you every blessing from the throne of God in the month of November. Receive double portion in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Every virtue you are in need of whether spiritual virtue as peace, as joy, as happiness, whether material virtue as financial wealth breakthrough, whether human resource breakthroughs as connections, divine connection, I release them upon you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. In the month of November, the Lord has programmed his blessings. In the month of November, the number 11, which is the month of November, 
represent the number of the disciples that stayed with Jesus for the salvation of man on the cross. That means November blessing carries in it the anointing of fulfillment to completion. Therefore, I speak over you. Every project, every vision and dream and every agenda of God that you began in the year 2021 and was incomplete by the anointing of the month of November. I pull from the fruit of November and I release to you the anointing of the finishers. Receive it in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Therefore, before the end of this December, you will be able to enter into starting the process that you have abandoned. And by the time you are entering 2022, you will see clearly that that project must be completed. By the anointing of the month of November, which is activated as a fruit of the finishers, I release upon you the anointing to finish every good thing you have started. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, I release upon you the anointing to finish every project you have started. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, I release upon you the anointing of God to complete every good thing God has written concerning you. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. And now, Kabro se katala bali kata. In the month of December, Teria po kapari ale. December, I speak to you, December. Ye ye. Ye me ye ye the word of the Lord. The Lord has blessed his people and he has anointed me to pronounce this blessing. I say, you month of December, you will not come to an end without releasing all the blessings of God to everyone that receive it from the sound of my voice by this anointing. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. I order the month of December to release upon you and see to it that no of your areas blessing is remaining. Therefore, for you now, I set the anointing on your toe to be on your mast. You are entering that new level that God has ordained for you as you are crossing 2021 to 2022. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. By the anointing of the Holy Ghost, the Lord is announcing to someone right now, hear me, and hear according to the voice of God through my lips. That which has troubled people in the year 2020 called coronavirus. That which has troubled people in the year 2021 called coronavirus and terrible variants. That which is still going to trouble people in the year 2022, that will be worse. You are exempted by this anointing. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. You are exempted by this blessing. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. You and all those who believe with you, your loved ones, your household, are exempted. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Holy Father. Go ahead and give God. Mareka to Embria. You are entering 2022. Exempted from what is troubling and killing people. You shall not die prematurely. God seal upon you. You is, is blessed. Powers of Satan be neutralized. Powers of darkness be neutralized. Somebody say after me Powers of darkness Powers of witchcraft Powers of Satan Tormenting any area of my life By the blessing I've received today I declare you neutralized I declare you neutralized in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of our Lord Joshua, Jesus go ahead with the music. Powers of darkness be neutralized. Powers of Satan be neutralized. Powers of darkness be neutralized. Powers of Satan be neutralized. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Am
Powers of witchcraft be neutralized. Powers of darkness be neutralized. I want you to celebrate God. It is over. Powers of darkness be neutralized. Powers of Satan be neutralized. By this anointing, they have been neutralized. Yes. Your blessings are released. Powers of witchcraft be neutralized. Powers of darkness be neutralized. As you are singing, angels are moving to neutralize their powers. Releasing your blessings. Powers of darkness be neutralized. Marine powers be neutralized. Thank you, Jesus. Powers of witchcraft be neutralized. Powers of idols be neutralized. Powers of sickness be neutralized. Powers of infirmities be neutralized. Powers of which can be neutralized. Powers of which can be neutralized. Your freedom has come. You are free. Powers of which can be neutralized. Powers of sickness be neutralized. Powers of poverty be neutralized. Powers of darkness be neutralized. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody shout hallelujah. Shout I am free. Shout it loud, I am free. From the grip of the powers of darkness. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Somebody shout by the blood of Jesus. By the blood of Jesus. I am free. I am free. From the powers of Satan. From the powers of Satan. From the powers of darkness. From the powers of sickness. From the powers of coronavirus. I am free from them. I am free from them. I am free from the powers of poverty. The blessings of the Lord has been real. I am entering 2022. I am entering 2022. As God bless Charles, the powers of darkness have been neutralized. All my blessings, oh, thank you, Father. Go ahead and give the Lord the biggest clap of praise. Give him the biggest clap of praise. It is done. The powers of darkness have been neutralized. The powers of witchcraft have been neutralized. The anointing of the Lord upon me as his prophet and as his apostle sent forth by the words proclaimed over you, the blessing is established. By the words proclaimed over you, your health is restored, your marriage is restored, your peace is restored, your joy and happiness is restored. The abundant life and blessings of God is your portion from this day hallelujah. forward more than ever before. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Praise hallelujah. the living God. So ladies and gentlemen, we thank God for today. This is where we come to the end of the blessing. Every blessing of God that I have proclaimed over you is established. It is yes. sealed. As you have received it, it is done. The yes. angels are moving on your behalf. They, are, they have arrested the spirit of darkness and neutralized their powers on your behalf. Yes. May your faith remain intact to testify to the goodness of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Father. So Thank I you, want Father. to take this opportunity yes. to say we have come to the end of today's program yes. and to announce to you that our next program will be the first Sunday of the month of January. Yes. which doubles to be the first Sunday of the year 2022, the new year. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. So the hallelujah. blessings of God that you have understood that comes every month. Mm -hmm. In January, the first Sunday, you are going to connect 
to begin to receive the full package in that month. Yes. And you are entering that year as the proclamation is over you, you are anointed, you are blessed by this anointing with a seal of exemption. What is killing others called coronavirus sickness disease will never kill you. Hallelujah. In short, they will not even know your address anymore. Hallelujah. As you stay connected, the Lord has restored to you life, an abundant life. Divine life, divine health is your portion. Thank you, Lord. By the stripes of Jesus, you were healed and your healing has been pronounced. It is sealed. Amen. Hallelujah. Now, I want you to get ready to invite many people for the next Sunday program. Remember, it's the first Sunday of the new year. Yes. Amen. Yes. And also, yes. on the yes. 8th of January, which is the second Saturday of January 2022, as I yes. announced last time, I will be having Churches United Praying Conference. We are going to have a prayer conference. I have sent the flyers to most of you. You have seen. Even those of you who are not inside the city of Tulsa, or even who are not in the United States, you can always pray and ask God to help you be part of the blessing. Don't just say, well, because I'm not in that city. You don't know what God can do. Open yes. your mind and pray to God. If God wants you to be there, he will provide for you the funds. You never know what God can do and where God will do it. So don't just conclude and say, well, I am not in that city. It's only for people of that city. Or I'm not in the United States. It's only for people of the United States. No. Always pray and ask God what to do whenever you know anything that is coming especially that which is of the Holy Ghost. You have tasted the blessing even a bit as you are rounding this last program of the year. You can understand what will happen. That program is a united prayer platform of what I call Christly United Prayers. Amen. Different ministers are coming together for us to pray as one body under Christ, not one under a denomination, not one Amen. under a particular church, not one. That's why it has to be buried in the hotel. So invite Amen. people if you can be or whatever by the grace of god the lord is going to begin to rain down a move of the holy spirit that is going to start a new work even from this city that the lord told me will take a move all over this world and particularly in africa after what he will begin so i know the anointing is strong but because you have been sealed with the anointing of today whatever you'll be hearing happening from the year 2022 upward don't be afraid Take note of the words of our King, the Lord Jesus Christ in John 16, 33, which says, I have given you my peace. He said, in me, you have peace, but in the world there are troubles. So don't be surprised with more troubles you are going to hear, which will be worse than coronavirus that you are seeing. But the peace of Christ is saying, is he has given and if you stay to connect with those who god has given the message from christ not just religious teaching in the name of christianity Amen. you cannot go down with what is taking people down Amen. and every word you have received here i pray that you will share and spread this message to all those you know so that by this anointing of divine seal many will be saved not to be killed by what is coming I want you to take note of who is speaking. I am not just a person. I was born for this reason. Yes. It was few days my wife was telling me a message I preached. I think it was in 2000 and either 15 or so. Which in that message, it carried every information of the coronavirus you are seeing that started in 2019. Oh. I myself, oh. I could not remember. She was the one that went and listened to the whole thing. The message was titled Prophet's Prophesy. So I want you to know that everything that you are hearing is coming from the Holy Spirit, from that throne that is flowing. No devil will bring you down. No coronavirus, no sickness, no disease. They can try. There are troubles, but you will not go down if you stay connected to the men and women that carries the gospel that Jesus Christ gave them to preach. Not just people preaching anything in the name of religion. By this, I release you under this unction. And may the anointing continue with you in your home. And the angels will continue to visit you with your packages. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. 
Amen. You are all blessed. Amen. And your week is blessed.